The latest now in a Target 12 investigator's exclusive grave concerns. Yesterday, we told you about a crumbling abandoned mausoleum in Cranston and a funeral director's plan to remove hundreds of trapped bodies once and for all. And new tonight, how Rhode Island's director of Veterans Affairs may be able to help in the mission. Target 12 investigator Susan Campbell is here now with the new details. The director of Veterans Affairs tells me any veterans who may be interred in the mausoleum deserve a proper final resting place. There are hundreds of bodies in this crumbling mausoleum. Annette Baraducci wants to rescue them. A lot of these people were veterans, they're war heroes, they took care of us, we have to take care of them. The funeral director believes the only solution is to disinter the remains and move them to a new final resting place. For the veterans, we'd call the veterans cemetery. Is that possible? Oh, absolutely. Kazim Yarn is Rhode Island's director of Veterans Affairs. He says his agency would have to determine eligibility for burial. The first step is to, in terms of identifying eligibility, it based on a documentation of the statement of service. We call it, typically call it now the DD-214. Uh, if we don't have really access to those documents, then we will utilize our resources to go out and, and canvas the archives. But finding the necessary paperwork may prove to be a challenge. The mausoleum was declared abandoned in 2012, and its records, if they even existed in the first place, were ordered destroyed. It's just hardening. At the end of the day, we're all Rhode Islanders, and all of our Rhode Islanders deserve to be uh, treated with honor and respect. I look forward to working with the funeral director to step up to the plate in order to help find a final resting place for our loved ones. The cost to reinter a veteran in the Veterans Cemetery would be reimbursed by the federal government. With the Target 12 investigator, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.